This is the XHP LED, and this one looks like crap because it's been my guinea pig LED, and it's been through a lot, but it still works great. Um, but it's essential that you get it on a nice copper heat sink like this. This is a sink pad too, and I de dome this one, and um, this is the same emitter that essentially. I modded the uh, Convoy M1 with. So I've got three Convoy lights here. M1, a uh, C8, and an S2 Plus. And um, I couldn't figure out whether I wanted to put the XHP in the M1 or the C8. And I ended up going with the M1. And um, I kind of liked that decision. And at the end of the day... Um, I just wanted a con or a uh, EDC size light that I could throw an XHP in to crank out insane bright light if I wanted to, um, but nothing that I would really leave running for that long. And this guy right here runs off two 18350s in series, and you preferably want your modes so you can have low modes and only blast your turbo um, short durations when necessary um, but that's essentially the deal and this thing's got pretty good cooling everything about it is a pretty quality flashlight um, but in the end I just didn't want to sacrifice um, the tight beam on the C8 um, that it gets with that XML2. So that single XML2 as opposed to the four in here um, gives that much tighter beam. Whereas when I tried the uh, C8 reflector on the uh, XML, or, or excuse me, the uh, XHP, it just didn't seem like it was as desirable of a uh, beam. So this is a real nice floody roughly 3000 lumen or more light right here little edc guy and uh, the only real issue i had was see down in there if you can see right around the edges of the led this one is actually not d dome still has the dome on there i might take that off later uh, but you can see right around the edges Let's see if I can zoom this in better. Come on, guy. Anyway, right around the edges, there's um, light is too bright. Little pieces of paper. That's what that is down there around the LED. It's basically just paper. Um, what you need, preferably, is some kind of um, plastic spacer, which you can buy online, I'm sure. Um, but I didn't have one, and I didn't think about it beforehand. And what I ended up doing was um, screwing the head down way too tight, which forced the reflector... Um, down around the edges of that that led and around the four corners of the led um the metal had got exposed um and basically the reflector shorted it out so you can short it out by having sloppy solder blobs on your emitter for your positive and negative terminals and then when you place your reflector down that can touch both sides and it'll short out that's not what happened you can also short it out by uh, just placing your conductive reflector straight down onto the emitter, in which case um, with this emitter, the reflector did not actually fit around the circumference of the LED uh, fixture without sitting on those four corners. So like I say, it was fine at first, then one day I decided to take it apart, and um, when I screwed the head back on, screwed it on too tight, Shorted it out, killed my driver, really sucked. So now I have to uh, 
run it directly from the batteries for the time being. But that little dirty whiteness around the LED is thick, thick paper that I had to cut that shape um, to form a, sort of like a donut around that LED for the metal of the reflector to sit on. So that was basically like a snafu that I learned from. Um, plan on not doing that again. But you live, you learn. So uh, you can just kind of see that yellow on that reflector like that. Beam comes out pretty good, super floody. I like it. Um, like I say, this, there's not much point to this unless you can get lower modes. Um, right now, I can't use lower modes on this. It's just pumps full brightness, probably close to 6 amps. Five six amps from these batteries. Um, that's also because I've reduced a little extra resistance in here. Um, but at the end of the day, I prefer it to the C8. C8 is also a great light that will also take a 17 millimeter driver, or excuse me, uh, emitter, um, heat sink, and um, I could pretty much swap these out anytime like i say this this is kind of made real good for this xml2 the the, the uh, relation between the single xml2 size and this reflector and just the way it's it's put together produces a pretty tight beam really good thrower so didn't really want to mess with that um but this guy right here was was well worth it regulates heat good uh, but like I say, it does get super hot. And this sucker will burn up fast. Um, these guys are, these are red E-Fest IMR 18350s. They're only supposed to put out about 5, 6 amps, um, which is ideal for how I'm running this right now. But um, either way, even if they were a little higher discharge cells, you're not going to get more than a, you know, a few minutes tops, I would imagine um at at full brightness before you start to see it come down with with some batteries like this so like i say this is just sort of like an edc type deal where if you really want to blast uh, blast light for short durations um then you have it and at the same time you've got your everyday carry around pocket flashlight that can give you lower modes um just sort of like you know your s2 for just a little bit larger size you know, it's not that big of a deal, but if you're going to carry around something around this size that can blast a thousand lumens on demand, you might as well have one that could pump, you know, the 3000 on demand. That's why I like this. So here goes some uh, shots. The M1, Convoy M1, the XHP70. See, you've got a little bit of, got a small uh, kitchen light on there. Everything else is pretty dark. But boom. This little guy right here. Aiming at the ceiling. Everything becomes visible like I just walked in and freaking cut a bunch of lights on. So that's how bright this thing is. Just the lumens are just bouncing off the ceiling, making everything crazy bright. Just kind of show a comparison between this guy and regular thousand lumen lights. Now this guy right here the uh, Phoenix UC35 and uh, I'm going to kind of do the same thing obviously thousand lumen lights are nothing to play with they light up everything as well so just 1000 lumens kind of has the same effect like I just walked in and cut some lights on there is a slight difference though 
now going back to the uh xhp i mean it's it's almost hard to tell on the camera but there is a very significant difference <laughs> i mean is this is crazy bright so that's the uh xhp it's about 3000 lumens that that's putting out approximately that's 1000 lumens So a single XML2 emitter right there. You got four. Four cranking out that light. 